Hello Pisces, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading. And this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We will say 9 through the 14th. This is a very important week because there's a new moon in Pisces. So for the ones that have a lot of Piscean uh, placements in your chart, this will be the week where, again, not only artistically, because again, you have Neptune in Pisces right now, you have, um, you're going to have Moon in Pisces, you're going to have Sun in Pisces. So it's going to be very much aesthetic, imaginative type of week. Of course, um, you know, this is also any type of project that you wanted to complete. This is a good time. So let's see. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on this week with Pisces? For those that are interested in the extended, the link is in the description box below. What does Pisces need to know this week, please? One more, please. Wow, we have the sun. So that's beautiful. A give and take, moon in Taurus, and then we have the sun, Leo energy. There's something harmonious. Wow, and this is your Piscean um, placement. I believe it's Mars in Pisces. Beautiful. I'm telling you, you're going to feel the heightened emotions, the bliss, the contentment. Happy ever after with that. We have the Knight of Swords charging in, communication. Oh, wow. This Empress has been coming a lot, and I mentioned even to the other signs that it's because of Pisces' influence that we all feeling this uh, love is in the hair, very much being open, uh, being very creative, pleasure with Venus right now. Oh, and Venus is in Pisces too, so it's beautiful. We have the Strength card, the Two of Swords in the past. We have the Magician. You're manifesting again that kind of, uh, wow, the justice. Wow. So look at how many major arcanas we have. One, two, three, four. The justice is coming. I, I believe there was another placement. I remember Zodiac sign that had the justice in this, um, in the near future. But again, this is your manifesting. And then we have this kind of the lovers. All right. The lovers has been coming for Gemini, has been coming for Sagittarius. Um, I don't remember who was it Virgo to a lot. I feel like again, look, all this the King of Pentacles is in your hopes and uh fears. All these major arcana. It's a very, very important week for you. Let me see if you can see here all the cards. And the best possible outcome is chariot. Okay. What I mean, <laughs> wow, too much information. Way too much information, too big, too many big events uh, with the major arcanas. Now, the overall situation is charging in. It can be you, it can be the person that you are manifesting. Because, again, this is something that you want, you're longing for, finding the strength. This is Leo energy, but it's the heart. So I feel like this is finding the strength. This is coming because someone feels confident. Someone wants to go forward, open up, charge in. And it is all about love. Virgo head. Whoever, if you're dealing with any of those placements, again, I feel like it's kind of a continuation of the collective here. But this is what's coming in. It's about love. It's about with Venus. It's about the calling of love. It's someone that feels like it's my time. There's been crossroads here in the past with the Two of Swords. But now you're manifesting it. You can feel it. Again, as I mentioned, is that kind of imaginative energy that you have because of Neptune, Venus, energy, the sun going on. And again, with the new moon, there's a, a, a new beginnings that are starting. And you are kind of aware of that. The justice, it means that, again, this is the time. Things have been fair. It may be some type of legal matters. It may be something here that, again, this is all about consequences, is about destiny, is about that yin and yang energy, the balance. But again, I feel like this is the reward that is coming in. This is what you have. This is what you have when it comes to yourself, how you see yourself. Very much, you have a connection. You know who the person is with the emperor here that you're feeling. I don't know if you are ready to charge in towards this person. We have Taurus, we have Libra uh, going on, we have Libra here. Some of you may be having Libra that is coming in. But this is beautiful, Pisces, and I feel like, again, it's just the moment of getting out of the crossroads, having the strength 
to go forward. Whatever it is, if it is not someone here that you have, we will clarify, you're ready to connect. You're ready to find love. But I feel like most of you with the lovers, when the lovers come, I feel like you already have it because someone has been hanging. In your surrounding, we have the Neptunian energy. That's why I feel like we have Venus, Neptune going on. We have the sun as well before. Someone has been waiting, self-sacrificing uh, energy. That's what surrounds you. In your hopes and fears is the king of pentacles. Now, depending, if you are the king of pentacles, there's something that worries you about money or this may be the person that, uh, again, I don't want you to think too much about the signs because I, I feel like all of you are dealing with different signs, but it is coming as a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, or there's someone here that is concerned regarding their establishment. We'll see. But this is the time of movement. The best, this is both charging in. It's saying basically what is the best possible outcome, whatever with the emperance that you feel, the blockages. Is it going to be the right timing? Is it the right moment? You have been thinking, again, in the past, you've been stuck between these two choices, not knowing which way to go. So the chariot is saying, well, you know the direction now. You are not anymore at crossroads. As you can see, of course, there's two choices with the chariot. But whatever the choice that you are going to choose is the one that you are going to feel triumphant, that you're going to feel successful. Cancer energy there, by the way. This is going to be an important week regarding your love life. Good news, positive movement forward uh, going on. So let's clarify. I want to see. I want to see what's going on with you guys. I'm loving the readings today, by the way. Even uh, the readings that I did yesterday, they were really nice. Um, again, so I will give you credit, Pisces. I feel like it's your influence. Uh, I'm a moon in Pisces, so maybe I feel... Um, I feel you guys, I'm connecting with the Piscean energies. I feel like with the collective. All right, so let's see. We're going to clarify all of the cards and see what's going on. Look, the star getting out of the cold with the five of wands, five of pentacles. What is the knight? Oops, way too many, but I'll look. This king of pentacles keeps coming, by the way. You see, this is something that has been waiting the two of cups from afar regarding this new passion and the, the strength there. This, this has been some type of longing. And it's so interesting because the last reading that I did, I felt like you were waiting for someone. One moment here you're waiting and the next they're charging in one more please wow the eight of wands i'll just look one moment here the eight of cups and the king of cups so we definitely have wish fulfillment coming in this is very much quick communication this is charging in again that swift moment we have um, mercury in sagittarius this week is all about communication I keep getting this energy a lot. I have to do one reading for the whole collective because I feel like it's uh, connecting with everybody. So let's see. What is the Empress coming here? Why is the Empress blocking you? Is it helping or blocking? Let's see. One more. Wow. Okay, so this is the burden from the past with the Ten of Wands. Someone has been carrying this love, this heaviness. Um, for a long time. I, again, I keep getting that there's some type of confession. There's someone here that, um, again, this burden is something regarding love. It's not that someone here is burdened just because they wanna don't want someone. It's someone that has been waiting for this communication for a long time. Exhaustion, again, because again, there's the total package with the emperors. There's the true love. There's a true connection going on. Do not let things here, uh, again, whatever has been accumulated, stop you from um, moving forward with your love life. There can be sometimes with this, some type of guilt as well. What is the strength card here? One more. You're going to look at everything. Wow, Scorpio energy, death card. It's not over. You have been holding back because of, of some type of ending. I don't think you have been strong enough to put an ending to a situation. Because um, again, I feel like always a strength card holds back, tames, but there's not been healing. 
there has not been some type of healing. You see, you still have the Ten of Cups with the Two of Pentacles holding back and the Nine of Cups. Why was this crossroads in the past? One more. Oh, wow, because of the strength card. Again, I keep getting that there's been hurt, there's been the heart has been broken. And I say this because, again, I feel like someone was holding back and trying to heal. Also, the way that uh, I feel like there was a kind of protection here of how to move forward because of that heart, because of pride. Pride, first of all, always when I see the strength card, I feel like there's someone that is very proudful. And because of the hurt situation now they're kind of holding back this is the past though it's the time to unburden yourself you have the magician in your thinking this week so again you are aware of your capabilities you are aware of what you can do pisces using your imagination using um you know you are like the seer using your intuition knowing that you have all the tools available to make things happen so let's see what is the magician in your thinking this week one more oh my goodness such a gemini energy by the way why are you overthinking it you are aware of something let's get another card one more okay so you feel like you're going to be blocked remember mercury energy virgo and gemini here, the overall situation, you want to communicate fast. You want to burden. You, you're ready to move forward. It's not over. Again, you're trying to find the strength of what needs to change. Big transformation. But you are afraid of the blockages. Look at the lovers. The Queen of Wands, very attractive energy. Page of Swords, I feel like there may be some type of a watching or keeping tabs or even through social media or someone that is very inquisitive to send a message. You are aware of the circumstances, but again, I feel like you are afraid of being blocked, of the blockages, of the defense of someone saying, again, the obstacles that are coming in with this manifestation. This is in your thinking. The justice is coming towards you. So let's see, what is this justice? I feel like it says you deserve this. This is your time. You waited long enough. One more. Well, I'm going to get... <laughs> I didn't see the Ten of Cups. I, I got the two. The sun is here. But you see, whatever this fear, whatever the codependency, this is a Mars, by the way, again in Pisces, your Ten of Cups. This justice is, again, what you deserve, whatever the codependency is, whatever the fear is overcoming those. Some of you, again, it, it can be that you're moving from some type of toxic situation. Finally, justice is coming in and you're finding your happiness. But this is, again, this happiness has to do with something that has been unhealthy or has kept you uh, in a situation. I do see the devil as the forbidden love. And finally, again, cutting the chains. That's how I feel like breaking free. And you had, the last reading was kind of, it's a continuation with this one. Again, the justice says, yes, the universe has your back. You deserve this. You deserve this happiness. What keeps you, again, codependent or fearful? Just breaking the chains of fear. Let's see. You have the lovers um, in your self-focus. That's how you see yourself. You are connecting with someone. One more. Oh my goodness, why are you again at crossroads? Why you feel like you want to decide? There's your heart and there's your mind uh, at war. You already want this. You already feel the connection. One more. You see, you have a connection and you're at crossroads. You feel like you don't want to show vulnerability with the Four of Pentacles. You're kind of holding back, but there's that possession energy. You, you might feel like also your lover in this in this case is at crossroads and they're holding back. I feel like the justice will kind of uh, awake you or your person to realize the connection. Tell me about the hangman.
one more. You see judgment. So your person is waiting for forgiveness. We're waiting for a call, waiting for the moment of truth, waiting for the lovers to come together, waiting for that divine calling. That's what uh, external to you, what you don't see. Someone is waiting. Six of Swords to move forward. Let's see why you have the King of Pentacles. Use this week to manifest Pisces uh, because that's when things are going to move forward. All these major arcana means that, again, this is a very important week for you to manifest, to decide to overcome your obstacles, the challenges that you're facing, and how you want to move forward with the connection. What is the King of Pentacles? One more. Okay, so someone here that has put a lot of work, a lot of effort. Again, if this is you, you have put a lot of attention and work to this situation and you're still working very hard and you're hoping, again, there's going to be some type of effort. If this is the person that you're waiting for, you are still waiting for this person to kind of, again, put the effort, a lot of progress, a lot of improvement. This is also, again, someone that is willing. A lot of Virgo energy for some of you as well. I have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but also someone that is a very hardworking person. Tell me about the chariot. Your best possible outcome is that destiny is calling here. One more. Wow, unblockage. Okay, the eight of swords. So this is movement from whatever you've been feeling stuck. Let's get three more cards. One more. Oh my goodness, I said. The Knight of Wands and the Empress, Taurus, Libra, but love. Remember, that was your blockages. This is just unblocking yourself. The best situation for you this week is just this direction where you don't feel trapped anymore. You don't feel, again, that whatever these uh, capabilities that you have, or again, whatever you attract here, not to block yourself, not to overthink, to unblock yourself. This is my Knight of Wands is very quick. Some type of, you know, uh, immediate energy coming in rushing in again this has been someone that has been looking from afar watching i feel like they've been watching the emperance here it can be you again waiting for the right moment to communicate waiting for the right right moment to reach this energy that's how i see it by the way again i'm blocking yourself the knight some of you may be dealing also with age difference it doesn't have to be but the knight is charging in uh towards love that's how I see it. The night is charging towards love. It's beautiful. I hope this resonates with you guys. In the extended, we will see what surrounds you in love and who's coming towards you. Thank you. Bye-bye.